which is the best time frame to set your take profits? This is a question that I got asked a lot in the last week. So that is exactly a topic of today's video. So I will be showing you in detail, which is the best time frame to set your take profits. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm a top author on the training platform and every single day on all my platforms, I share a lot of free education and analysis. So I suggest you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all this great content and I will see you in the video. Having a proper set of rules when it comes to actually setting your take profit levels is probably one of the most important aspects of your trading because if you don't set your take profits in the proper way, what you will end up doing is giving back all your profits to the market when you're actually in a profitable trade and obviously losses are always part of the game. So what will happen is that you won't capitalize on your winners and losers will always be there so it's impossible to be a profitable trader and i will try to keep this video as short as possible and as to the point as possible so make sure you stick to the end of the video because you will learn a very key concept now let's start by how you're supposed to be setting your take profits so on which time frame you're actually supposed to be setting your take profits. Now, the easiest way for me to actually explain this is recapping a trade that we just closed this Friday with students on EuroCAD and show you exactly why we had our take profit where we actually had it. And also by the end of the video, I will show you exactly what kind of opportunity we can be looking for now on the pair. So I will be giving you an update on the situation that currently we have on EuroCAD. And as usual, I will try to keep the analysis as well very educational. So let's start by speaking about take profit setting. Now, just to give you some context on the situation that we had on EuroCAD when we executed our trade, let's perform a quick full analysis. Now, on the monthly time frame, clearly we had a market that had reached the previous high where we had resistance here, again resistance, again resistance, and the market had just tested with the previous monthly candle this monthly resistance from which we expected a rejection and the market to actually retrace to the downside from this resistance and supply area. Going down on the weekly, what did we have? Now on the weekly, it was very clear that the market was ready to make this move to the downside. Why? Because first of all, we had the candle that the next one is supposed to fill in the wick. So we expected this weekly candle that just closed to actually be bearish. And why do we expect the market to fill in the wick? This is a pattern that I spoke about many times. If you have a candle that is red with a very long wick that is at least 50% of the body, you expect the next candle to actually fill in the wick, which is exactly what the market did here. And why do you expect this? Because this wick on lower time frames is simply an impulse and a correction from which you expect the continuation to the downside, which is the reason for which you expect the next candle to actually fill in the wick, which is exactly what the market did. And in fact, on the daily time frame, what kind of pattern we have? We have exactly what we expect, the impulse, the correction. And the correction is exactly the wick that we have just seen on the week on the weekly time frame from which we expect the continuation to the downside for the creation of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. Also, what we had was clearly a market that was retesting a very strong structure level. In fact, what did we say on EuroCAD? After the market had created this M formation, we said in our analysis that we wanted to see the market from here complete the pattern at the neckline. And then from here, we wanted to see the market create the continuation to the downside. And I will link the previous analysis in the description so you can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. And that is exactly what the market did. The market reacted perfectly to what we wanted to see the market do. And obviously with students, we capitalized on the move to the downside for a beautiful one to three risk to reward. So three hour profit on this, on this trade just closed on Friday with students and the market hit our take profit target. Now, why was our take profit exactly here and which are the reasons for which it was the best choice to actually place our take profit here, 
even if the market, for example, will continue to the downside. Why was it anyway the best choice? Now, first of all, there is one key concept that you need to understand when it comes to setting your take profit levels. You have to check all time frames. OK, it's not about which is the best time frame for a, your take profit, which is the question that I get asked a lot. It's not about the time frame. It's about where is the nearest structure level that you find either on the monthly, either on the on the daily or on the weekly time frame. These are the three directional time frames, monthly, weekly and daily combined with the COT data. So the order flow are the best things and time frames when it comes to the direction of the market. So you have to look for the nearest. If you're looking for a short, you need to be looking for the nearest structure level, either on the monthly, weekly or daily time frame. Now, in this case, the nearest structure level was here on the daily time frame. In fact, we clearly had on the daily here previous resistance, which is now turned support at this area. And this was our take profit to the downside. So our first structure level also, which is another good way of finding take profit targets, which most of the times will align perfectly with the structure is your Fibonacci. Now, if you want information on a retracement in the market, you have to take your Fibonacci on the impulse. So from the high to the low of the impulse. And you can see that in this case, the market went for a perfect retracement to the 0.618, which is not a mistake because it's the golden ratio. And then you expect the continuation to the downside. And if you want information on the continuation to the downside, how are you supposed to be placing your Fibonacci on the retracement? So always on the previous leg. So adjusting our take profit on the retracement, we can see that the minus 27 was lining up perfectly with this previous resistance. Now turn support, which was our target to the downside. So when it comes just above it to be sure that the market actually hit it. Now, when it comes to setting the profits, as I just said, what is the rules? What is the rule? You have to find the structure level that is the first level at which you expect the market to go, which is in confluence with Fibonacci levels. And it doesn't matter if it's on the monthly, weekly and daily. It is the first structure level. And why this was the first structure level? Because look, on the monthly, where is the structure? The structure on the monthly is here. Let's identify it with this horizontal ray. We go down on the weekly and actually let's make the ray visible so that you will understand perfectly the concept. This is the structure on the monthly. OK, we go down on the weekly. And where is the structure on the weekly? The structure on the weekly is here. OK, this is the structure that we have on the weekly. The previous resistance now turns support. We, do, we go down on the daily and we notice that the daily structure is above the weekly and monthly. So it is the first structure level that the market will reach. And it's also in confluence with the minus 27 of the Fibonacci taken on the retracement, which is exactly the target to the downside that you expect the market to hit. So this is the situation that we had on Eurocad when we executed the trade. Just one last thing that I have to show you because it's important to understand where is the next opportunity that we can be that we can be looking for on Eurocad. Just a quick reminder, make sure you comment below and you let me know which pairs or topics you would like me to analyze or cover in the next videos. We have to check the COT data to see what the biggest banks and institutions are currently doing on the Euro and on the CAD. Now, from a Euro perspective, we can see that institutions have been massively longing the Euro with the last reports in the long term. In fact, we went from minus 114K net positions with way more shorts than longs, with 271K shorts and 157K longs. From an institutional perspective to now having almost 200K net positions with 259K longs and 62K shorts. And did we expect some profit taking from these longs? Absolutely, yes. And in fact, that is exactly what we see with the last report with 6.8K longs getting closed. And in fact, the market created a nice move to the downside. And on the CAD, what we can see is that net positions now decreased a little bit with 6.2K shorts getting added and 2.2K longs getting added as well. So clearly, we could expect this move to the downside. And in fact, that is exactly what the market did. But now, where is the next opportunity? Now, you must notice that in approaching this structure support, the market also created this M formation. And after M formation, you want to see the market give you a move to the upside. Specifically, we would like to see also in the weekly, the market try 
to create a continuation to the upside because the market had created an impulse correction and we expect a continuation to the upside specifically if we want information on this retracement we have to take our fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse and we can see that we have a 0.618 golden ratio at this area that we expect the market to go and hit before the continuation to the upside so we have a quite strong support area all inside of this zone inside of which we expect the market to show us a retracement to the upside to complete the pattern at this structure level here that let's just identify it with a horizontal array so inside of this support area we expect the market to shift now can we just be taking the long obviously not trading is not predictive trading is reactive and monthly weekly and daily are the best time frames when it comes to the direction of the market but the best time frame for entry and obviously to search for confirmations is the four hour time frame. So inside of this area, what we will be doing with students, with students, we will be waiting for the market to shift from a bearish market as it is right now, because clearly the market at the moment is bearish and creating lower lows and lower highs. So it can and it should continue to the downside. But with students, we will be monitoring price action on the four hour time frame inside of this area, waiting for the market to create an accumulation area and shift from a bearish to a bullish market. And as soon as the market on the four hour time frame will shift from a bearish to a bullish market, if that will happen, then we will add EuroCAD to our watch list. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice long with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities for the move to the upside and the market to actually create the completion of the M formation. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you. Also, make sure you go and check out the mentorship program. You find it linked in the description. It's a very complete program. You first learn all the rules of my rule based strategies and then you trade them live with me. Each and every day, I give you a new daily market breakdown showing you exactly how to apply these strategies with entry, stop, and take profit as well as answering every single question that you have every day, including the weekends. So I really suggest you go and check it out and I will see you in.